people stepped into their roles. That's always fantastic when people can help out. And there's uh, people talking in the background while somebody is at the lectern. So we are trying as a club to not be talking while, and I'm just with one of the biggest offenders. So try and when somebody is taking the lecture, not to be speaking. There's nothing that is so important that it can't wait. Or you could write it down and write back to each other, which is equally as rude but not as disruptive. The rest of the time, uh, I just thought that it was really interesting that we're in a place where you can feel safe enough, however, to be able to say what you think even though there may be people who don't agree with you. Uh, my only comment to, to all of that is, you know, this country is so divided, I would really like an opportunity for us just to wait and see what happens. You know, I think all of us have concerns that this is such a wild card that we voted for them. You know, some people didn't, lots of people didn't, but we need to pull together as a country, and it's, the country is so polarized, it, it, you know, we're not Americans anymore, we're anti-this, and it just seems like everywhere we turn, it's anti, I'm again, you know, I, and it's just, we need to pull together as a country, period, end of conversation. <laughs> and having given my two cents of political nonsense, uh, speech, or exercise, <laughs> Wait, free speech. Time. I will now turn the meeting over to our family <laughs> 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 and, and the editorial comment from the timekeeper. Thank you, Gary.